Hello everyone, welcome to Corporate Prayers. My name is Rainy Sala. Nice to see you all. Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to be praying from the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 37. So if you could please turn your Bibles with me to Genesis chapter, chapter 37. And the title of tonight's prayer point is, we're still continuing the series on the spirit of excellence, the spirit of diligence, the spirit of discipline. But tonight's subtitle is going to be called Just As Resilience. And so that's what I'm going to subtitle it. It's titled Joseph's Resilience. And um, yeah, so please turn your Bibles with me. And while we wait, I'm just going to sing a worship song. Okay, let me quickly pin this. There is a sweet anointing in this sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Come lay down the burden you have carried. For in this sanctuary, my Lord is He, for in the sanctuary, my Lord is He. There is a sweet, there is a sweet anointing, anointing in this sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. We lay down the burden we have carried For in the sanctuary our Lord is He For in the sanctuary our Lord is He For in the sanctuary our Lord is He, for in the sanctuary, our Lord is He. Father, we thank you, we exalt you, we worship you, for in this sanctuary, Lord, we know you are here. We know you are here because this is a place of worship, this is a place of prayer. We know you are here because you are good to us, because you are faithful to us, because you love us so much. Lord, we know you are here because you said, wherever, wherever two or more are gathered, I will be there. Lord, we know you are here because you said, whatsoever we ask in your name, you will do for us. Lord, we know you are here because you said, come to me, all you who are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest, that my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Father, we know you are here because you said that whatsoever we ask in your name, you will do. Father, we have come because you are here and we have come to seek your face. We have come to meet you. And your word says that those who call on the name of the Lord will not be put to shame. That those who come to you, that you will not cast out. I thank you because you are here and we have come and you will not cast us away. We have come and you will not put us to shame. We are calling on you. We have called on you and you will hear our prayers. You will heal our land and you will show us your mercy. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have your way. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Just before we continue, there's another song that I really would like us to sing. And, um, you know, if you've been joining us since, for, since 2019, you know that this is one of my favorite songs that I like to sing. Um, it's by, it's, it's titled You Are Able by Ada. It's such a powerful song in my opinion and I mean a lot of people agree with me. It has over 42 million views on YouTube and it's a really really powerful song. Um, let me see if I can adjust the volume so you can hear it properly.
Can you hear the volume? situation but just listen to my voice what can't you do jesus you are able great and mighty god you are able jesus is there anything you're thinking god cannot do just remember these words there is nothing he cannot do Nothing he cannot change. Nothing he cannot turn around. You are able, great and mighty God. We put our trust in you. You are able, Jesus. One more time. You are able, Lord. <laughs> Great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are able. At that Jesu. Great and mighty God. Jesus. There is no nothing you cannot do nothing you cannot change nothing you cannot turn around you are able great and mighty god we put our trust in you you are able jesus Hallelujah. You were able, Jesus. You were able, Jesus. Our faithful God that hears our prayers. He's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able to do all things, and he surely will do all things for us in Jesus' name amen hallelujah <laughs> wonderful all right let's quickly get into our prayers it's going to be um pretty short um because we're continuing or continuing a series and whatever wherever we stop today we'll continue in the coming weeks by god's grace so if you turn your bibles with me to genesis chapter 37 i'm going to read from verse so i'm going to i'm going to first of all i'm going to try to summarize the story um so joseph as we all know some of us might know joseph was a very young boy when he left his father's house so he was the bible says in verse three that his father his father's name is jacob or israel his father loved him more than all his children because he was born to his father in his old age so his father had him when he was old so joseph Joseph was loved by his father for, for no reason of his at all. It wasn't because he was smarter than his siblings or wiser than his siblings, although that might have been true. But the ultimate reason was because 
he was born to his father when his father was quite old and because also i believe because of the love his father had for his mom rachel um did i say rachel no no um anyways so so joseph so joseph's brothers envied that love that his father had for him his father um, made him a coat of many colors and the bible records in verse 4 that his brothers hated him and could not speak peaceably to him it's just a simple fact the bible records that wicked people are wicked they they don't have the capacity to do any good and this is this was a situation that joseph was in his brothers hated him so much they couldn't even say any kind word to him and that was that's in verse 4 genesis 34 verse 37 verse 4 and now i want to draw your attention to verse it just verse 5 the bible says that joseph had a dream and he told it to his brothers and they hated him even more he told them the dream the first dream he said was they were binding sheaves he said to his brothers please hear this dream they were binding sheaves then behold his sheaf arose and stood upright and indeed all his brother's sheaves stood all around him and bowed down to him that was the first dream verse 8 says his brothers were so vexed in their spirits they said to him shall you will you indeed reign over us or will you indeed have dominion over us and they hated him even more because of his dreams and the words he said Verse 9, he had another dream and said he told his brothers again. He said, this time around, look. The sun, the moon, and the eleven stars bowed, <coughs> excuse me, bowed down to me. And so he told his father and his brothers, and his father said, What is this you have dreamt? Shall your mother and I and your brothers indeed come to bow down to the earth before you and his brothers envied him his brothers have envied him but his father kept the matter in mind i want to pass to this word in verse 10 the bible says that after he told his dreams to his father and his brothers his father rebuked him when i looked up the meaning of rebuke it simply means to have a strong disapproval of something his father scolded him. He rebuked him. He said, like, like, how could you say such a thing? Will I bow down to you? Will your older brothers? Remember, these are his older brothers. His older brothers. And he he's, he's the second to the last child of his father. How would his elders bow to him? He, they were quite upset, frankly speaking. And so the, pre, the first prayer point I'd like us to pray because i believe that as the bible says in jeremiah 29 verse 11 that for i know the plans i have for you the plan there are plans to prosper you to give you a good hope and a good future they are not plans of evil they are plans to prosper us and to make us have a great future that's god's plans for us those are the kinds of plans that god has in store for us he's saying these are the dreams that these are the things that will come to pass you in life. You're going to have a prosperous future. You're going to have a successful future. And for some of us, we have these dreams of greatness. We have these dreams of greatness. But sometimes the circumstances in our lives don't align with those dreams. Or they do spiritually, but physically we, are, we think it's not matching up, you know? And, and it's, it, that is exactly what happened in Joseph. And that's why the, today's title is called joseph's resilience right because joseph had a dream of greatness but then the things that happened around him didn't necessarily add up they didn't necessarily point in that direction or let him know that or give him the confidence that indeed this these these dreams these dreams will come to pass and so our first prayer point is that father bring my dream of greatness to pass in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. I just want us to pray this with all our hearts and minds. Let's just cry out to God. 
heavenly father let my dreams come to pass every dream of greatness that you have ever that i have ever dreamt that you have given to me let my dreams of greatness come to pass in the mighty name of jesus amen no matter your circumstances no matter what the situation looks like let's cry out to our maker father let my dreams of greatness come to pass in the name of jesus every great dream that god has given to us oh lord let it come to pass every great dream about our future oh lord let it come to pass by your power in the name of jesus just pray concerning every area of your life father concerning my marriage my career my finances my health my business oh lord let every great dream come to pass in my life in the name of jesus amen father i pray for everyone here with us oh god i'm praying that lord you will allow you will permit you will make sure that all their dreams of greatness come to pass in the name of jesus amen lord let my dreams of greatness come to pass in the name of jesus amen father let our dreams of greatness always come to pass by your power in jesus mighty name we pray amen may all our dreams of greatness come to pass without fail in jesus holy name amen now um the next prayer point i would like us to pray so so that was joseph's dream and then you know he was envied i'm gonna quickly fast forward to um genesis chapter genesis 37 now we're on verse 18. the bible says that um so Dave, joseph's father sent him on an errand and said um joseph go and look at go and check on your brothers go see what they're up to and then in verse 17 sorry oh, okay yeah so in verse 18 before joseph could get to his brothers i'm in verse 18 now before joseph could get to his brothers his brothers saw him coming like right from afar and before he even came hmm before he came they conspired against him to kill him they conspired against him to kill him they said to one another look this dreamer is coming come therefore let us kill him and cast him into some pits and we shall say some wild beast has devoured him now guess what they wanted they said we shall see what will become of his dreams hmm. they are they are evil people they are evil enemies the enemies out there who are waiting to see see what will become of our dreams they conspire to kill us the bible says they 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 they, they are they are they are making a plot which they are not able to perform they are not able to perform this plot because the lord is on our side in the name of just amen now the prayer point is this in the mighty name of just our father put aside and um, we're going to pray that father deliver us from every evil conspiracy in the mighty name of just amen every evil conspiracy against us against our dreams against our visions against our careers against our marriage let's begin to pray lord deliver me from every evil conspiracy from every conspiracy in the name of jesus amen deliver us from our enemies deliver me from all evil in the name of jesus just begin to pray <coughs> excuse me pray over your marriage pray over your career pray over your business father deliver us from every conspiracy against us every conspiracy deliver me from every conspiracy deliver my marriage from every conspiracy deliver my career from every conspiracy deliver my businesses oh lord from every conspiracy in the name of jesus amen deliver us from all evil deliver us from our enemies in the name of jesus amen the bible says they are plotting a scheme which they are not able to perform they are devising a plot which they are not able to perform no matter the scheme against us no matter the evil scheme against us it will not come to pass in the name of Jesus, amen they will not be able to perform it in the name of jesus amen lift up your voice and cry out to god father save me from every conspiracy against my business against my career save me from every evil conspiracy save me from every evil conspiracy lord save me save my family save my marriage save my career save my business oh lord from every evil conspiracy by your power in jesus 
holy name we pray amen <laughs> hallelujah may the lord save us may he save our soul from all conspiracy from every evil conspiracy by his power in jesus name we pray amen hallelujah <laughs> amen now the next prayer point i want to pray is that father silence every voice mocking me mocking my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus, amen see joseph had already told his brothers his dreams right he told them his dreams but they were mocking him they were like we will see what will become of those dreams they planned they conspired against him they they did their evil deed and they 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 they, they wanted his dreams to fail they didn't want to see it come to pass they're like why would this last born become ruler over us now we're going to pray because for some of us the enemy knows our greatness the enemy has seen us from afar and they are conspiring they've seen our star from afar they've seen our light shining from afar and they are envious and they are mocking us that look we'll see what will become of her greatness of her light of her shining light we're going to pray that father in your infinite mercy <clears throat> we're going to pray silence every voice mocking my destiny in the mighty name of jesus amen just begin to cry out to god father silence every voice mocking my destiny silence every voice mocking my marriage silence every voice mocking my business mocking my career father silence every voice silence silence my mockers disappoint my mockers in the name of jesus amen put my mockers to shame put my mockers to shame Put my mockers to shame. This is not the time to play fancy. This is the time to speak to your God. Speak to your maker. Silence my mockers, oh God. Silence every mocker in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every mocker in the lives of all who are praying with us, oh God. Silence every mocker in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord silence the mockers of your destiny. Silence the mockers of your business. Silence the mockers of your career. Silence the mockers of your finances. Silence the mockers of your destinies. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Silence, O oh Lord, all our mockers in Jesus' name. Amen. Permanently. He said, I will silence them permanently. I will put them to shame permanently. That is our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, when Joseph, I'm, I'm now in verse 23. When Joseph came to his brothers, they stripped him of his coat of many colors, which his father made him. And, um, and they threw him in a pit. And they threw him into a pit. They took him, they threw him in a pit. The pit was empty. There was no water in it. They did so many things to him. Whilst they sat and ate, Joseph was in a pit without food, without water. They now sold, in verse 27, they sold him to the Ishmaelites. They said they don't want to kill him. They sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 shekels of silver and they took Joseph to Egypt. Our, first prayer, our next prayer point is this. That Father, no matter what the enemy does, let it work for my good. No matter what the enemy does, let it always work for my good. You don't understand this prayer point. Let me explain it. It means the enemy thought they were derailing Joseph's destiny, right? By selling him as a slave to the Ishmaelites. A son of Abraham. They sold him to the Ishmaelites. No matter what the enemy does, whilst they sold him to the Ishmaelites, he became a slave in Egypt. They thought that was the end of his destiny. They thought that was the end of his dreams. But guess what? God made their evil deed. Exactly. I love what Dem Demois Lendil is saying. She said, power past power. Exactly. No matter what the enemy did, 
God turned it around. And that's the purpose of the, of the song we sang in the beginning. If you're, just, if you're just joining, please go ahead and watch it from the top. That's the purpose of the song we sang in the beginning because there's nothing God cannot change. There's nothing God cannot turn around. God took their evil deeds and let and made it work together for, for Joseph's good. He said, well, sell him to Egypt, sell him as a slave. You know, you are furthering his purpose. It's to work, it's to end up in his favor. They thought, you know, they thought they were conspiring against him. They thought they were killing him. Now, guess what? We're going to pray this fantastic prayer. After they sold Joseph to a slave to, to a slave in Egypt, guess what God did? God made him the leader in Potiphar's house. The enemy thought that was that was not good enough. They now made his boss, Potiphar, send him to prison for a crime he did not commit. He was sent to prison. Ha. The enemy thought, again, this would derail his destiny. No. From prison, he became a prime minister. Now let's just put your two hands on your head. Say, Father, no matter where the enemy plans to derail my destiny, let it work for my good. Let it work for my favor. In the name of Jesus, amen. Begin to cry out to your maker. Put your hands on your head. Father, wherever they have conspired against me, wherever they have mocked me, wherever my enemy is trying to derail me, oh Lord my God, let it work for my good. No matter what the enemy does, let it work for my good. Let it work for my good. Let it work for my good. Let it work for my favor. Let it work for my promotion. Let it work for my elevation. In the name of Jesus, amen. They think they are derailing us. But instead, they are promoting us in the name of Jesus. Father, no matter what the enemy does, let it work for my favor. Let it work for my favor. Let it promote me. Let it elevate me. Just like Joseph in the name of Jesus. They thought they were selling him as a slave. They didn't know God would turn it around and make him prime minister. Father, no matter what the enemy does to harm me, to harm my career, to harm my destiny, to harm my children, Lord, turn it around and let it work for my favor. Let it work for my promotion. Motion. Let it work for my elevation. Let it work for our good. By your heavenly power, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. No matter what the enemy does, it will work for our good. It will work for our favor. It will work for our testimony. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 Lord. Next prayer point also quickly prays in Psalm 23. It says, Father, prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemies. Just begin to pray. Father, prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemies. I will not die. I will, I will live. I will declare the works of God in the land of the living. Yes, Lord. Prepare a table before us. In the presence of our enemies. No matter what our enemies do. It will work for our good. It will work for my good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Excuse me. Now, our next prayer point is from um, Genesis chapter 37. So, yes, I already read this. They sold him to Egypt. They sold him to the Ishmaelites for how much? 20 shekels of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. They sold him for 20 shekels of silver. Now, after they sold him, see, they were just selling him as a slave. You know, they were selling him up and down. After his brother sold him to the traders, the traders sold him to Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh. An officer of Pharaoh. Now we're going to pray. Heavenly Father, wherever, wherever, wherever my destiny has been sold. See, the enemy is cunning. The Bible says the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Part of what can be interpreted, the Bible lets us know that Jesus came to redeem us from sin. He came to buy us back from captivity, from the strongholds of darkness. Now, our prayer point is this. Wherever my destiny has been sold, wherever I've been held captive, Lord my God, 
ransom me. Lord, my God, ransom me by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Wherever my destiny is being held captive, wherever I have been sold, wherever my destiny has been sold out, Father, ransom me by the power in your blood. Ransom me by the power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let's begin to cry. Let the blood of Jesus ransom us. Let the blood of Jesus buy us back. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the blood of Jesus redeem me from captivity. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever my destiny has been sold. Wherever my destiny has been held in captive. Oh Lord, deliver me by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Ransom me by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Redeem me by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Is it by sin? Is it by our own deliberate fault? Oh Lord my God, your word says that even the lawful captive shall be set free. Set me free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever I be held captive, in my marriage, in my career, in my business, oh Lord, set me free. Set us free. Set us free by the power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Wherever our careers has been held captive, Lord, set it free. Set our careers free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever our marriages have been held captive oh lord set it free set it free in the name of Jesus, amen wherever our children our spouses have been held captive oh lord set it free lord set it free by your power in the name of Jesus, amen set them free by your power in the mighty name of Jesus, amen wherever we wherever i have been held captive oh lord set me free set me free set me free in jesus holy name we pray amen may the lord himself set us free by the blood of jesus the blood that washes away all sin the blood that redeems us from captivity the blood that ransoms our soul from death and hades the blood that saves us all may his blood deliver us from every captivity from every shackles may his blood break every chain over our marriage break every chain over our marriages break every chain over our finances break every chain of our businesses break every chain of our careers break every chain of our progress let the blood of just break 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 every chain of captivity in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, just begin to speak in another tongue. The Lord himself is here. Break every chain, oh Lord. Break every chain of captivity. Break every chain of captivity. Wherever we have been held bound, by sin and shame, Lord, break in the name of Jesus, amen. Set us free. Set us free. Say, Lord, set me free from wherever I have been held bound. Set me free. Set my marriage free. Wherever my marriage has been held bound, oh Lord, set it free. Wherever my career has been held bound, oh Lord, set it free. Wherever my businesses have been held in captivity, Lord, set them free. Set it free. In the name of Jesus, amen. Pray for yourself and pray for myself. May the Lord set you free. Set your marriage free. The Lord set your marriage free. I declare and declare, freedom is ours. The Lord has set us free from captivity in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord has set us free from every captivity, from every sin and shame. He has set us free from wherever the enemy has sold us to. Even the lawful captives shall be set free. And those whom the Lord sets free shall be free indeed. We are free. We are free. We are free indeed. In Jesus' holy and mighty and powerful name that we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful evening. May the Lord bless you. May he hear our prayers. May he cause his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord grant us peace. Peace in our marriage, peace in our home, peace in our careers, peace in our businesses. May the Lord grant us peace in every area of our lives and in everything we do. In Jesus' holy and everlasting name we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for praying with us. Please share this video with your friends and I'll see you next week by the power in Jesus' name. Amen.
Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.